Hello folks, so today we'll be taking a look at two different styles of power socket. On the left we have a European Shuko socket. This is the style in use in the vast majority of European countries. On the right we have an American NEMA 515 socket. And this is the most common style in use in the US. And on the sides there are also some plugs uh, that will be commonly used with this socket. Uh, so we will take a look at uh, how they're constructed, uh, mounted and wired up and the uh, various uh, differences between them. Now contrary to how you will see these mounted in most installations, these have been uh, just installed in surface mount boxes. These are boxes that go to the outside of a wall instead of uh, in the inside. And they're used in some specific applications, but in this case, it's just easier for me to demo them, and it's what I have available. So I'll start off by taking a look at the American power socket. Uh, now, to disassemble it, first of all, you need to remove the faceplate. Now, in most cases, this is done just by this single screw in the center. There are some more modern versions that use a uh, different style of faceplate, and that's uh, mounted using two screws. Um, but in most cases, just one screw will reveal the insides and thus uh, the live connections and uh, specifically talking about that if we see the live screws are right there on the side and um, that faceplate has a fairly short screw and it's only one screw so if it comes uh, if the screw comes loose uh, for any reason it's quite easy to remove the faceplate and gain access to the live connections which isn't particularly great and we'll be taking a closer look at those live connections in a bit okay so after having removed the, the faceplate you can uh, take off these screws on the top and bottom that will um, actually remove the power socket itself Okay, so with the socket actually removed out of the wall box, we can see the incoming uh, wiring from uh, the circuit. And uh, this is all solid core wiring. Now, that's generally common in most of the world. However, Italy, where I live, uh, uses uh, stranded core wiring generally, but that's just an oddity specific to where I live. Solid core wiring is way more common generally. And uh, we can also take a look at the terminals. Now, these are screw terminals, uh, however, they're a specific kind of screw terminal. Um, so let's uh, get a closer look to how these wires are uh, specifically connected. Okay, so after having removed the socket, we can take a closer look at the terminals. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that uh, there isn't really any extra plastic to prevent people from touching this. And, uh, I mean... Even with the socket uh, still in the wall box, it's very easy to just go there and uh, grab these. Uh, so that's not particularly great. It's actually somewhat dangerous considering that there's only one uh, tiny screw holding the faceplate together. Um, aside from that, you can see that uh, the wire is connected this way. So if we remove the screw, the wire is actually on a loop. Okay, so to actually wire up the socket, you first have to strip the wire, of course, but then you have to get some pliers to bend the wire in this sort of loop shape, because then you have to place it around the screw in this way. And then you can actually tighten the screw to make the connection. Um, and you have to do that three times, of course, for the live wire, the neutral wire, and the earth wire, which is bare uh, in most cases. Uh, so that does take a little bit of time, of course. Um, also, you will notice that uh, there are extra screws on the side. Now, these can be useful if you want to hook up uh, multiple sockets, but also they can be useful uh, if you remove this little tab to wire up the two outlets separately. Uh, so that's a neat feature. Other noteworthy features of this socket. Uh, it does have some plastic bits around the screws, so they won't uh, fall out and lose them. And uh, also, it does have some... Uh, screwless connections on the back. However, these are considered uh, very unreliable and um, so they aren't really an option. However, they are often used in uh, cheaper installations because uh, they take a lot less uh, to install. 
other things worth mentioning about this box, well, it is made of metal, it's actually very nicely built. Um, it has a lot of uh, spaces for uh, running uh, wire or conduit. It has a space inside for uh, a nerve terminal, which isn't present here, unfortunately. And that's important, of course, since it's made of metal. And uh, there's this uh, connector on the top, which is used to actually secure the wire in place so it won't pull out. So yeah, that's about it really, it's just a standard American wall box and uh, power outlet, and well, not much to say about it really. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, the European one. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the European wall box. So first thing you'll notice, this is actually um, entirely made out of plastic, although this is a cheap wall box. Also the back is open, although that wouldn't be much of a problem since this would go against a wall. And um, there's all the cable, you can um, get some pliers and uh, tear out this uh, plastic bit. Um, so that's how that's wired. Uh, truth be told, if you actually were going to mount uh, a socket, uh, I would much rather recommend uh, getting one of these. Um, these are uh, generally much more suited for uh, applications uh, where you have like surface mount wiring than uh, this one, but uh, and also generally cheaper. But you know, this is also an option and may be needed in some cases. Anyways, um, so let's see how uh, the socket is uh, mounted and uh, wired up. Okay, so uh, once again we have a single screw holding the faceplate on. However, unlike the American one, this one uh, is a considerably longer screw. So it will take quite a bit of effort to take off uh, the faceplate. There we go. And of course, after actually having taken the front cover off, we can also remove the power socket itself. Now that's done with these two screws. And uh, generally, with most power sockets, you don't actually need to remove the screw completely. It will just uh, twist like that. And uh, since uh, this isn't actually mounted to a wall, we can just take the entire thing out. Because that's easier. And as you can see, the wiring is uh, quite a bit different from uh, the American one. Uh, so the wiring here is still solid core, uh, but uh, obviously the colors are the European one, uh, brown from line. Uh, blue for neutral, and uh, green yellow for the earth, which is leaved in this case. Now, of course, one major difference with the American power socket we have seen earlier is that this doesn't have any screws anywhere for uh, the wire connections. Instead, this uses screwless terminals. Um, so, this is, of course, already connected. To disconnect these wires, you can see there are these plastic bits. Uh, these also prevent you from touching the live uh, contacts, uh, which is pretty good. So there's a little lever here, so just push it and pull on the wire, it will disconnect. Same thing with the other ones. And that's that, that's fairly simple. Uh, so to connect this, as I said, you just take the wire and uh, push it in. And that's that connected. And you can do that for all of the three connections. And that's that simple. Yeah, it's it's really easy. Now there is an older style of terminals which does actually use uh, screws, uh, as you can see here, and this is still present in some brand new sockets and of course older items as well. Uh, however, this does work uh, differently from uh, how uh, the American ones work. This has a little metal piece uh, which gets pulled up by the screw, so the wire just uh, pushes in and then you turn the screw, uh, so that's uh, still not all that uh, difficult to wire up, although it doesn't need a screwdriver. Now one last thing worth mentioning, both of the power sockets shown in this video don't have any sort of safety shutters, however there are versions available of both of these which do have shutters, and that prevents uh, people from you know sticking something in the holes and getting a shock, which is great. Now the adoption of safety shutters in Europe does actually depend very heavily on uh, the country you're in. France uh, and Italy have made them mandatory, uh, while Germany hasn't. In the US uh, they have been made mandatory for uh, any new installation, but for example they're not common on things like uh, power strips. 
but yeah that's about it for this video if you like this sort of thing i would recommend uh, checking out my website where i post about the stuff a lot more and um, if you want to you can also subscribe since i do plan to release more videos about electrical things uh, in the future for example about all the european fuses and uh, we'll see you later um, bye